hello my gorgeous friends welcome back again okay so uh, i just gave a brief introduction of what this course is all about building a to-do application using west api and provider for state management okay so uh, as you can see here yeah, so i'm going to watch through uh, the app and the few things i've done so far and also i'm going to walk us through the api that we are going to be consuming okay for this tutorial so this uh, is the uh, API uh, URL which we'll be using. So it's actually hosted on Heroku. So this is more like the base URL of the API which we'll be using. So I'm going to put all this in the description for you guys to see. And also, uh, I told you that my a friend of mine is actually was actually the one that uh, designed and developed this uh, this API which we'll be using for testing. So his name is Wisdom Matt, and you can follow him, like him. He's actually a GoLand pack and developer. So you can reach out to him if you want and you can actually use this API because it's like it's fully documented. So to do list API and you can see the explanation and the database. So if you want to run it, it's using MongoDB. So you can actually run your Docker to set it up and stuff like that. So let's move over to the endpoint. So this is more like the uh, API uh, path. So this one here, which I showed you first is the, the base URL. Okay. So this part is actually the part for creating a new user. So we want to register a new user. And you can see it's a post request. So you require the name, the last name, email, and the password to create a new user. So I'm just walking us through the API doc because we're going to implement this later in our Flutter application. And this one is the login user. So we have to log in the user, email, and password. Because if you're logging in a user, it actually has login and sign up. It actually returns the user ID and the user token so the user token is used as a authorization header to actually authorize the user before we can add or create any task in the the api all right so this one is for getting the user you want to retrieve the user's profile but we won't be working with this one but it's just a get request where you pass the user id okay so we'll be working with this you might want to take that as an assignment to do on your own you want to get users okay you want to get all users that are already registered okay and this endpoint is for deleting a user you can see it has the request part type which is uh delete then this is what we are going to be focusing on create tax first one is we are going to create a new user using post request also login a user using post request and we are going to store those token the user's token the user id and the first name of the user in shared preference all right so that we can reuse it later on all right and then we have delete user okay okay i've talked about that already then we have create task so this is how this is the uh, the values that is expecting that is the api is expecting and this is the path and you can see the post request so it has this method post so we we need to pass the title the start time the end time the user id okay yeah the user id which we are going to get whenever we log in the user it returns the user id so we have to save that and also the reminder period but for the sake of this tutorial i won't be creating much complex ui so the ui i'm going to create is just going to have title alone okay then we are going to manually like just put this one type this one okay but if you are creating the ui you can create a ui for date picker and then pass the date in here all right and uh, then to get tax this is how we get all the tax that we have added inside the uh, yeah the to do the to do tax and it requires the tax id so i'm going to show you how to get the tax id okay to get tax okay this is if you want to get one tax sorry if you want to just get one tax you have to get the tax id but we won't be working with this get tax we'll be working with this one get tax so we're going to get all the tax that has been added by that particular user so this is the part the users then we're going to pass the user's ID that is gotten from whenever we log in, we get the user's ID, then task, then the last ID. Uh, if we are working with pagination, but we won't be implementing pagination for this because I just want to show us how to make post requests basically with get with REST API. And this one is for updating the tax. So if you want to update, you have to pass this with the tax ID to complete it. And this is an ass the assignment I said you guys are going to be working on to just learn how to do it. It's actually using a put put method, so it's basically the same thing as post method, but you just have to change this uh, type to from post to put. You're going to learn all, all of that. And this one is to delete a tax, so we'll be using the delete method to actually delete a tax, and we'll pass the tax ID. All right, so that's all for this API. 
you can actually like follow him start the repo fuck it or whatever you want to do with it and this is the part i'm going to put it in the description below for us to work with okay all right so that's it for the api explanation and you can see this is actually our application and it's currently running and right now you can see nothing much has been implemented just the main dot that that i just added and uh, with the welcome screen and few things we'll be needing for this tutorial is the when you, once you go to your prospect the tml file we'll be needing a provider for state management so I'm, i think i'm actually using the latest version of provider and we'll be using shared preference to actually store the user's data like to store the user id the token and also the first name of the user uh, the first name is not really necessary uh, we can actually omit that all right then the http uh, package which we are, we're going to use to make the request to the api and then get a response all right so that's all for uh, this section in the next section we are going to get started i hope you're ready uh, get your ide ready get everything ready and let's dive into it